Thanks. Roxanne, Roxanne. All she wanna do is party all night. Alright, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing another player review. As recently, we've been all be loving it as we've done the Simon Brandt, uh, Anderson, and also Pereira uh, tots for the EFL and community. I will get to the first of the Premier League ones and Marcus Rashford. As you can see, he did cost a lot of coins, and I did buy him when they first came out, so that's why I've lost a lot of coins. But it's all for this video to come out as soon as possible. And 5 star skills, 3 star weak foot, it's alright, 5 star skills is amazing, personally, I feel like on a left mid, it doesn't really matter where you play him, 5 star skills is so important for that scoop turn. Would have preferred 4 star, 4 star, yes, but I'm happy with the 5 star, 3 star. And you see he's playing as left mid, as that is what he would been playing for Man United, I did predict this in my Premier League Tots video, that will be in the link of the description if you want to go check that out before, see how many I got correct. And another thing is that playing at left mid gets easier links than a striker because you only have to play him left back or striker to get links, where striker, centre mid, all those positions have to get links. And if you look at these stats, 98 pace, 94 shooting, 88 passing, 93 dribbling and 89 physical. Absolutely fantastic stats overall. Max out pace, maxed out dribbling practically with a uh, chem style which I've given him as a sniper. Nearly maxed out shooting as well. Passing, of course, could be a little bit better, but I'm not going to complain with these amazing stats from this Marcus Rashford card. It is one of the best stats I've seen on one of these cards, and I can't wait to do more team this season cards. I play with them, just how fun they will be to use. Now, you can see on his traits, a power free kick, he has scored a few free kicks. Got flair, technical dribbler, team player, speed dribbler, and also long shot taker. But how good is he in real games? Is he even worth 900k? Well, let's get straight into it. Now, well, I did mention this before, how his pace was maxed out and how good he was for that pace. And I played him in a range of positions. Played him at left mid, striker, cam. And I'll tell you, left mid is probably his best position. Why? Because his pace is so bl blistering, how he can get past the defender so easily, just to even get a cross in, which would be perfect, as his passing isn't the worst, and crossing is something on his strong points I would give him. That's why pace is a very obvious one, how he could just do defender so easily, and makes it so much easier just to get goals with him. That's how fun he was to play with. Now, shooting, another thing I mentioned with this card, Marcus Rashford and all the Premier League tots, except from a handful, have nearly maxed out on a couple of the stats. And Rashford is a good example of that. And he's not even the best card that will be coming out for these players' reviews. We do have a bit of a hint, as you see that goal who that came from. That could be the next player review, coming out very, very soon. Mo Salah, of course, for me, a very big fan of Liverpool, and Salah is a big player for them. And team of the season, is, he did get one, and I have got him, so make sure... If you make sure if this video gets 10 likes, then we will be uploading that video very, very soon. Now we'll go back to his pros. You see his dribbling, very, very obvious one. Max out dribbling and how good a shooting is there. Just to easily slot that home and make the guy quit inside two minutes. How amazing that goal is. He didn't want any more of this and how fun he is just to outside the box, inside the box, no matter what. His finesse shots outside the foot shots were absolutely amazing now five star skills is another thing I did mention before it's so very obvious with him as I've seen so many skills in this clips I've been uh, done with him is how he can get past defenders so easily and it makes it so much easier like here with his pace gets past him now that was a one star skill a ball roll or two star skill but just shows how if he's very a flair player it makes it a lot easier the five star skills um and the problem with the 5 star skills is that I'd rather he had 4 star because of his weak foot and which is one of the cons which we'll get into in a bit. And his strength is his next pro I've given him and quite obvious one. If you're playing a left mid who's fast, they're not normally going to be very strong like a Ryan Kent, Forrest which you're normally used to before team in the season. But his Marcus Rashford made it so much easier just to get past defenders with his strength and pace. An uh, amazing combination with this card. Also made it a lot easier just to get these clips with him as I only took 5 or 6 games and going back to his shooting, in 5 or 6 games he scored 10 goals. Just shows how amazing this card was. And yes I did force on him but it doesn't it doesn't uh, take away anything from this Marcus Rashford and how amazing he is. 
Now, on to his next pro, which I did mention before, and with these teams, season cards, they're going to have a lot of pros, uh, just because how OP they will be, but it's all about how much they cost, and is it worth it to buy them. It's his passing. I've recognised a couple times where he could just ping a ball to the right back, left back, and just, it was quite uh, nice playing with left mid, because get early crosses in, pass outside the box for a shot on, made it a lot, a lot easier, compared to a lot of left mids. Now, I did mention this with his 5-star skills, and before the uh, clips even started of the gameplay, I did mention his 3-star weak foot would be a big problem. And this is why I would never play him as a cam or even a striker, just because like, he can't play in this position because the 3-star weak foot just lets him down too much, where it makes him a bit unusable, where you have to force on his right foot or stronger foot, or else he's not going to get the cross on, he's not going to shoot. And this is going to be a, basically a red time finish. Makes it so much easier with a 5 star weak foot. Like a Ben Yedda. Why he's so OP. Because he has a 5 star weak foot. And 4 star skills. Which is one of the best combos you can get. And sadly Russia has only got the 5 star, 3 star. Which is still okay I guess. But it would be so much better with a 3 star weak foot was improved. Makes it a bit unusable. But. With all his other pros, I feel like it evens out and makes him an actual really fun card to use. And we'll just quickly go back to his strength and how it was improved maybe quite a bit on his team of season card compared to his normal card, which is quite obvious. Big team of season cards get big upgrades. But Marcus Rush has had a couple special cards this FIFA, uh, unlike the last couple of years, where he's had, um, of course, he had that foot birthday card and a lot of other cards. And we'll quickly go his prices. Foot birthday cards 1.2 million coins. Where his, uh, quite interestingly, his um, team of the season card is only 685. And yes, I know I lost out a lot of coins. So that's why maybe my value for coins would be a bit off. But Marcus Rashford, honestly, really, really solid card. And you can see I've given him a 9.5 overall rating and definitely deserved. With 10 goals in round 5 games, that's a 2 goals per game, just shows how solid he is. And how I'll be playing him as left mid. If he was playing as a striker, I'd be like, okay, I expect that. Or something similar to that. But as a left mid, coming in with the 9.5 rating is one of the best ratings I've probably given to a left mid. And I can't think of many more. And if it goes to value for coins, 8.5. I feel like 8.5 because um, there's not a lot of players that are better than him for his coins. For 685k, if you just quickly look through for 685k in that position, who can you get? There's, of course, you got Neymar, you can get like Mbappe, but realistically, a Tots card is, makes it much funner to use, and also it's a Premier League player, which makes it easier to link. So, very, very obviously, why he's probably worth around that mark, but at the same time, I would have, I would have reckoned there's quite a few cards that are better than for that price. And quickly move on to his chem style sniper, prove that shooting, and key pros is pace and shooting. And very obvious with his team and the card. Overall, we I recommend you to get him if you can afford him and fit him into your team. Definitely. It was a very, very fun card to use. And I really enjoyed my time making this player review. And make sure you, you've liked it. And if you want to see that solo player review, it'll be coming very soon. Anyway, that'll be all from me. Peace.